mean, who decided 500 now, meters? Now, who is trying to push that rule through? Is that both Depar State Department of Health and the city and county? The Department of Health, yes, both are. And the Department of Health's position has been they think that's sufficient and that catches most of the uh, surf breaks. Um, city, I think, has uh, another motive is obviously they pump most of their effluent further out than 500 meters. And so a sharply reduced standard past that is to their benefit. Well, yes. And, um, you know, it brings other concerns too. Like um, you have the problem of upswelling and stratification where some of these pollutants may start coming back in mm -hmm. to the, uh, you know, closer closer to the beach areas and you start going, well, wait a second, don't we need to look at this beach by beach by beach and really trying to identify. That you know, to me is the most sensible, that you, you look at the individual beaches, the individual currents and you see what is applicable. Yeah. And I would hope that our State Department of Health would be doing that. Yeah. And leading the leading the charge on that. I mean, this is people's livelihood. This is people's recreational ground. It's it just would be really a, a huge problem if they aren't going to protect that. Yeah. But the the move behind this bill, which I am hoping will die in the House or die in conference committee or die in the Senate, um, the move behind this is the city's move to lessen the water quality standards in our waters, right? Uh, that's fundamentally what it is, is to lessen the water quality standards. And they've used uh, clever terms like uh, recalibrating the standards, which, you know. Uh, <laughs> well, tell you know, me what that means. I, uh, <laughs> I mean, uh, redefine <laughs> them in a way that. that <laughs> a, a rose is a rose, I no. guess I, I'd point out. Uh, the concern, you know, obviously is, is dr a dramatic drop and it's a significant decrease, and there's not a lot of science behind it. And Again, they pointed out to the litigation that's ongoing, and I would just like to briefly address that. Um, one of the reasons why they've stated we need to make this change is there are there is a potential of significant fines because they've been in violation of state water quality standards. Well, now explain so what Sierra Club's position is on yeah. that. And I, I think it's a very important one. It's one that got yes. ignored. Is we publicly maintain that every penny uh, in fines should stay in Hawaii and should be applied directly to fixing. The sewer system, and that is incredibly admirable. I, I mean, that's that's really being a team player in Hawaii to protect our water quality and to say, okay, yeah. the fines that will be imposed by you will go to fix your faulty system. 